A long-time staple of Australian gardens is the citrus. Whether it's an orange, lemon or lime tree, most Australian gardeners either have a citrus tree or at least have fond memories of a citrus tree. And when you consider all the things they bring to the garden, delicious fruit, white perfume flowers, glossy dark green foliage, it's really not that surprising. And as long as you get a few key factors right, they're also very easy to grow, as well as very rewarding. First thing to look at is aspect. Citrus are warm climate trees, so they do best in a warm, sunny climate. Protection from hot, dry winds in summer and cold breezes and frosts in winter is ideal. They also don't like root competition, so if possible, keep them well away from other established trees. Like all plants, the health of your citrus trees is tied directly to the soil that they're growing in. They prefer well-drained, slightly acidic soil with good capacity to hold onto moisture and nutrients. In areas with sandy soil, adding compost, clay and well-aged animal manure is ideal. In areas with heavier soil, dig in plenty of compost and aged animal manure and a little bit of coarse sand. To get your tree happily planted, add clay and compost to the planting hole, then a controlled release fertiliser to ensure it's well fed, then water in well. Citrus rely on a wide network of shallow feeder roots to draw in moisture and nutrients. Mulching is essential to protect and nurture these hard-working feeder roots. Now, not everyone will have sufficient garden space to grow a citrus tree, but the good news is they grow brilliantly in pots and tubs. Just select your favourite citrus tree, but on dwarf or semi-dwarf root stock, pick a nice 30 to 60 litre pot, a couple of bags of premium potting mix, and you're away. Carefully repot your citrus into your tub, fertilise and water in well. Then set the pot in a warm, sunny location and stand back and admire your work. Once potted or planted, citrus require small amounts of regular maintenance. Fertilise in spring, summer and autumn, and I also like to apply compost and cow manure in spring. Top up the mulch annually and ensure the plants are adequately watered so the soil stays nice and moist. There are a few pest issues that a gardener needs to be aware of. Citrus leaf miner will show up as squiggly lines and as a distortion in the new growth. Pest oil sprayed in spring and autumn will keep the problem to a minimum. Collar rot can be a bit of a problem, but it's easily avoided by just simply keeping the mulch pushed back a little from the trunk. Follow these few simple steps and you'll find citrus are the easiest and most rewarding fruit trees you'll ever grow. 